Hello! It is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111 and welcome back to Void Stranger, where I feel like I'm getting desperate, but I've come up with some more things that I want to check into. Once upon a time, this rock down here in the lower left told me basically how to get the key that engraves the brand of this, the upgraded strange rod that I am currently holding in my inventory right down there. Now that I am already wielding this thing, does this rock have any new text for me? Please? No. Destroy what remains of the traitors. Return to zero, zero, zero. Then you'll find Lord Ad's final treasure, one they hid even from their allies. The key that engraves the brand of this. I've already got it. You're not helping. <laughs> um, all right, that's unfortunate. Uh, another thing is this statue of Lev looks weird. Like it's got something on it and I don't know what. And I think it does still kill me if I use the rod. Sure enough. I was thinking I wanted to try to like push it into a hole, but I don't know that that's possible. The one place that I can push it is over here. And one thing that I don't know that I've done over here is to inspect this chest a second time after obtaining 99 locust idols. Incredible! So suppose I look inside the chest again. It's empty. <laughs> Alright, nothing else is happening there. Darn, 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 darn. I was really hoping one of those was going to pay off. Alright, I do have a couple more things I can try from here. They're real long shots, but I've got a new rod. It kind of goes away at this point, right? Yeah, because all I can do is, like, question mark at this point. Um, any chance if I go find the weirdness in here that something different happens now? This thing also bongs. And so I wonder if there's a certain number of times that I would need to do it, but do I have any idea how many times I would need to hit it and wait for something to happen? I do not. Um, something else I was thinking, it says return to zero, 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 which obviously means brain zero, 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 but also like zero could refer to judge zero's name. And I don't know if there's anything like up with that that I should be thinking about. But in any case, I don't feel like anything noteworthy happened here. So... Hmm. And the other thing nearby that's worth trying is visiting this crazy place with my strange rod, where I'll actually be able to keep my strange, strange rod. Uh, so I'm going to try to get back to weird girl head thing, <laughs> and I'll see you there. I always keep forgetting to record how many screens I have to get to before I get down to the weird woman's head, but also this thing appeared again. I'd kind of forgotten about this thing. I have a sword, but I don't expect I can hit this thing with the sword. I think this thing is here just to like chase me away and destroy the world, so I'm going to avoid it if I can and instead try to get to the head thing I'm trying to get to. But it's just been a while since we've seen that together on screen, and so it seemed worth calling out. And yeah, it seems like it might come like quicker and quicker, like the deeper you get into these levels. I'm not sure, but I heard it starting to creep up on me pretty quickly there. Okay, so we're here. Great. So, question mark if I try to talk to you. You also bong. You also bong. Uh, what else could I even do on this screen? I have a strange rod, so I could like pick up all the tiles, I suppose. But I don't know that there's any point in that. But I mean, I guess it's a thing I can do that I couldn't do before. So suppose I pick up all the tiles except for the one right in front of you where I'm standing, assuming that that's possible. Look at me, I'm picking up tiles. Aren't you so excited? weird disembodied head thing, whatever you are. Also, I can't pick up that tile. So that's probably no good. 
and we've already kind of mapped out I don't remember. Oh, I took a fall, and that's the end of it. <laughs> and when I restart the game, I'm just back here, which is the last place I left off. Okay, those were all the interesting things I could think of to do with the new upgraded rod, other than it being like a convenience item. <sighs> There's got to be... Now that I just said those words aloud, other than it being an upgraded convenience item, it does give me a new capability. That new capability is... What does it do beyond just the rod and the wings? Because with just the rod and the wings, it's already the case that with just two blocks, I could basically fly like almost anywhere I wanted to go on most screens. So I'm using the, you know, upgraded rod here, but this is all like flying shenanigans that I could have chosen to do um, with the normal ad scepter as well as the wings. And so is there somewhere in the world that I could not get with my previous power-ups that now I am able to get using the strange rod? That's what I'm wondering. But I can't think of any places that are like that. And so I don't know what I could do with this rod. So I was super stumped and Took a little time away, and all of a sudden, I realized that I'm such a dummy. I have taken, I don't know, hundreds of screenshots of this game. For whatever reason, in my screenshots folder, there is a mural that I've never taken a screenshot of. It's this one. The mural is completely blank. This is a mural that can only be made with the rod that I am now holding. Of course, that's a brand. It is the brand that needs to be made on this floor, for sure. There's glass pieces here. If I step off a piece of glass last, while I'm holding all the other tiles, that should do it. So I need to kill all the enemies, step one. I need to be able to pick up this. I need to make sure that all the statues fall in the void and merely falling in the void is insufficient because I also need to push this one off into the void using that mechanism. Uh, and there's still glass around, okay. So now, and I want to get rid of this tile and let's just start picking up all the tiles I can and we'll try to pick up the exit and step off a piece of glass as my last steps, I think is what I plan to do. This seems all good. Um, yeah, I think this seems all good. So I should be able to, if I do that, I can get rid of that. Okay, so let's just pick up, I am recording, right? Yes, okay. <laughs> Uh, I have plenty of tiles in my inventory. So I don't need to worry about getting stranded because I can always place one back down whenever I need to. So don't worry about getting stranded. Just try to pick up all the tiles. And so I'm just going to try to go kind of row by row here. And I want to pick that one up. And I want to pick this one up. Ooh. Okay, I need to leave a tile here. I need to... Hmm. Do I need a second piece of glass? I hadn't thought deeply about this. I think I need multiple pieces of glass at the end so that I can use them to step on... Let's, let's see how many things I can pick up. Yeah, because now 
I don't think there's a way for me to pick up this tile. Yet yeah, it had not occurred to me how difficult the task of picking up every tile is. But it feels like this has got to be the right action. So let's try to preserve as many glass tiles as I can. And I'll want them near the top of my inventory. And it seems like I'm forced to... Oh, I could hold on to this one. Hold on. Nope, I can't pick it up yet because I have to kill all the enemies first. Uh, is there a way... Oh, uh, no, that breaks some glass too. There's a bunch of pieces of glass here, so let's assume that I can afford to break at least one of them. And then I'll try not to break any of the other glass. And so in order to not break the other glass, I'm going... I forgot to push off the statue. Gosh darn it. Okay, I'm glad I had 99 locust items, because this is actually going to take a few tries to juggle all of the simultaneous concerns. Okay. Um... Let's also go ahead and just push off the other statues while I'm thinking about it so I can't forget about that aspect. Oh, and actually using those is another way that I could have a last few steps. That might be a better way to have a last few steps that do something, something, something dark side. I think I see a way to do it with just glass, though. So here is, here is my plan. I'm going to try to leave a bunch of glass leading up to the exit on the bottom row. And then I'm going to make sure I take out all of the stuff on the second row. And then, yeah, I think that'll mostly work. Let's... Let's not think too hard about this. I can always try again if I need to. So there's a bunch of glass in the bottom row. And I'm just going to assume that I do not need these tiles at all. Okay. And now I'm going to try to pick up every other tile. Which ought not be too bad, I think. Uh, it's mostly just about the tiles being hard to see and the stupid moving floor. But I'm making lots of progress. But now I need to make sure I pick up the tiles on the second to last row, because then I want to, like, fly over there to get the last row stuff, I think. Uh, there is a tile here. Don't miss it. And then I'm going to need to exit from over here and pick that... Oh, and pick that up. Hmm... Okay, I'm starting to see where my solution strategy here doesn't quite work, but I think there is a solution to my solution strategy networking. Suppose I pick up a piece of glass. If I leave it here, I'm going to need another piece of glass as well, I think. So I'm, oops, I'm going to pick up a second piece of glass. Is this what I need to do? I think it might be. So I actually want this piece of glass here. Ah, uh, this is not quite it. I need to pick up these tiles. And I can't quite pick them up and get to where I'm going right now. So what if I do this? I still can't quite do it, but with some extra glass, I think I can finagle something. So what if I do... Oh boy, this is work. There is something happening here. So... Does this work? No. Maybe? Not like that. Does this work? I haven't picked up the exit yet, but I could at this point. 
Uh, but I still need glass here. Okay. Let's pick up the exit while I'm thinking about it. I'm going to have to put the exit back down somewhere, though. If I want to get at a piece of glass again. But let's go ahead and pick it up. Uh, that's problematic. What is the ending state to picking up every possible tile? I'm really close. If I put the exit down here, I'm going to struggle to get places. I should have picked up the exit a long time ago. So that it would be buried deep in my stack and I'd still be able to manipulate these. Is there any chance that this is still solvable from here? I think if there is, let's try this. That enables me to pick up one of these. Now, can I get this? I might be able to. That's not going to help me get where I'm going. What if I do this? Pick this up. Can I be pointing at that? I think I can. Because now I can do this. Here we go. This, this, and now I can fall. Okay, that wasn't what I intended to do, but we got there. Surely this is something. It's something. Basement question mark, question mark, question mark. We're somewhere new. There's an exit staircase. There are two, three ad statues. There's a Sif statue. There's a Lev statue. Lev is floating way off there. Oh. Oh, no. Can I escape this without only a simple memory remains? Sif statue is above the exit. The four statues are together, so I can't push them. There's a rock to talk to. Maybe the rock is the thing that I should be the most excited about on this floor. I can't use the void rod. So I think this is all about talking to the rock. Please give me some kind of congratulations and some other further hint, oh rock. That leech, that lazy eye, that maggot. Yes, the three enemies who remain. The leech in the bottom left, the lazy eye in the bottom right, uh, and the maggot in the top. Traitors agents who roam here. The leech is presumably use. The feeble eye is presumably gore. The maggot. The maggot. Is that Mon? I'm not sure. I'll have to think about that a little bit more. Hear me. Reach them. Slay them. And thus you shall prove your mettle. Okay. Uh, that does not seem too hard, I think. If I take a tempo... Uh, no, there's an automatic tempo. No, there's not. If I take a tempo, I can slay them. And you have an automatic tempo, so now I'll just reach you. Okay, I killed them all. Are you happy? That leech, that lazy eye, that maggot. Traitor's agents who roam here. Hear me, reach them, slay them. And thus you shall prove your metal. Did I prove my metal? <sighs> Dots. I can't use the void rod. There's no use in trying. Maybe I've proved my metal and I killed all these things. And so if I step here, something good will happen. If not, I've got a backup save, so this is not a huge deal. And I think I have a better idea of how to engrave the brand that I just did on 227. So if I do this, what happens? 
Only a simple memory will remain. So you would think that that proved my mettle. But it just sent me right back to the beginning. Yeah, it just sent me right back to the beginning. And presumably, we're going to go through like the first three basements just to make sure that nothing has changed. So the good news is I did find something else. The maggot. Oh, wait. <gasps> you acquired a strange rod. Something is different. I'm glad I went through the first three levels. Something is different. I've proven my mettle. And now I start with the upgraded strange rod. If I go back to basement 225 or 226 now, is there any chance that I will see a new statue there or something? Lilith on Basement 226 saw a strange old man. Don't you know who I am? And yeah, yeah, man, yeah, whatever. Okay, I... I... I, I, I... Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly fast travel back to Sif's basement. We'll once again quickly check if anything has changed here. I doubt it, but it doesn't hurt to check. Incredible. Still nothing else here. That's fine. Okay. And now... Yeah, I just want to move forward here. The mural's completely blank, sure. What is on this floor? There is still no statue here. I was hoping that like an NPC or a statue or something might appear here. So that really didn't do anything for me. I could just try going to the end again, which... I guess I could just do... Like, and see if Lilith starts with the strange rod. Something is different. I proved my metal. Or maybe the... Uh, when I go meet the Void Lords at the end, they'll say something about my incredible devotion or something. Uh, sure. So, I'll meet you at the end. So, I have engraved the brand of Dis. I have proven my metal. I picked up a strange, strange rod from the outset. And so now... Oh... I wonder if I need to break this to visit Dis as opposed to visiting the Void Lords. Um, I think I actually will make a save here. Okay, although it occurs to me, I guess I could go back to 207 probably. So I would be able to back up if I wanted to. But let's try moving forward with this ending and seeing once again if any of this is different. So all of the Act 1 cutscene played out exactly the same, and so now I want to see if, when I start with Lilith... No, she still just gets the normal Void Rod. So something feels different. It's got to be something that I do back in Gray's playthrough. Alright, something is different. Um, so let me go reload that save. And so I guess the next thing I want to try here is this and see if something is different out here since we got the seal of this and here's you know this kind of oh uh i saw one of those eyeball bugs 
in any case, let me go find the noise and the thingy. All right, I found my way here. A giant carcass. A dull howl escapes from its decaying cracks. It won't stop. Ah. I'm gonna try banging it on it six times or 23 times just in case that does something, but... Oh! A bell tolls for you after banging it on six times. Will you accept its call? Accept? Should I say yes or no? Ask not for whom the bell tolls, it tolls for thee. What happens if I say no? Alright, then it just puts me back out here. What happens if I say yes? This is assuming that it was six and six seconds. Just like the chest underlord adds, what do you call? A bell tolls for you. Will you accept its call? I have to try this on the head at the end as well. And I'm not sure if it's a function of me having the rod or if I just never tried banging six times. And I didn't get an explicit clue about this, it was just kind of implied. But in any case, will you accept its call? This time I'll say yes. And so you'll leave this waking world. And now the game's gonna close on me, right? Yep. Alright, there's sounds of typing. Warning! Uh, who are we? When are we? Freeze! This is like a whole new segment of the game all of a sudden, I'm worried. They have four dots, kind of like Sif's Dark Idol statue. Step away from the console! Who is it? It is... Ninny? Lily. If you take off the lab coat, that was Lily's outfit, maybe, I think? Did she have the thing on it? It looks Void Lordish, the thing kind of like in, on her chest, and it doesn't look like Lily. She looks human, as opposed to these robot-y kind of things. I don't know who this is. Charging in, barking orders while I'm in the middle of my work. Don't you whippersnappers have anything better to do? We won't warn you again. They have guns. Do as we say or we'll open fire. Don't make me laugh. Considering you dolts managed to enter here and the fact I'm still alive, whoever gave your orders must be pretty high up and wants me unscathed, correct? Let me speak with her. I know she must be listening right now. Dr. Lily. I wish this escalation could have been avoided. Yet your stubbornness has left us with very few choices. That looks vaguely zero-ish up there, maybe? What are my choices then? So this is Dr. Lily, L-I-L-Y? Okay. Why don't you just shoot me? That seemed awfully convenient for you. We've yet to locate the black box you stole. Hand it over. Not until my research is done. The government has declared its contents highly classified. Any further transgression will be judged accordingly. I can't protect you much longer. Then who will judge those power-hungry fools who keep tampering with technology they don't understand in the slightest? Dots. The discovery of the alien vessel and the sudden appearance of the comet, this is what Lily saw at the end of Act 2. You do not belong here, little one. Must be linked. And if the data on the vessel's black box is even slightly accurate, 
Well, those warheads raining down on our facility will soon be the least of our worries. Enough, Dr. Lily. You leave us no other choice. There's an explosion. The power goes out. They're communicating via... Oh, it's a crack in the void, just like we've seen multiple times before. Near the end of Act 1. Oh my goodness, there was some onion head thing back there. That just broke through. And now we're back with the presented by Oh, that's another credit roll? All right, the giant onion took over the world. I am not pressing any buttons to advance this, so this is auto-advancing. We have a new font in this new future technology world. It's very eyeballish. Uh, onion thing growing? Maybe. Uh, what is that? That looks like kind of a pair of wings or snakes, or I'm not sure what to make of that. Could I have gotten this quote-unquote ending without having proven my metal? If I had just bombed six times? And what happens if I bong six times? Are these all the strange creatures? Maybe. On the head past basement 255. Void Stranger. This game is wild. What happens now? I probably have to press a button? No. Okay, this just advanced again. Is the game going to close itself? Do I have to press a button? We're back at the startup screen. Okay, so this is kind of like Sif Saving B. It's going to ask me to choose my language next. And here is Dr. Lily typing on a computer. I think. Yup. English. Would you like to change your settings before starting your journey? Nope, they're good. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm about the least ready that I've ever been, so let's say yes. Engrave your brand. Everything here is still the same. Now that I've proven my metal, will I just start with the rod all the time? Um, let's just uh, do left aligned 111 and just see if we start again as gray and if we start with which rod and try to figure out what the heck is going on here? Okay, so that all seems normal-ish. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Good luck to anyone who gets ensnarled in this game the same way that I have. Okay, we've seen the opening cutscene. I am actually going to witness it again now in case there's anything to recontextualize. Given... I'm gonna say what I have learned, but that might be a stretch. There is the Earth. It's getting hit by this dark star. We're going to see the logo of System Erasure, the developers of this game. And then gray is going to fall from the ceiling. Uh, no, first we get to see gray walk up. Oh, I got an achievement, pendant, an important wedding gift. There's so much stuff in this game. I just continue to be flabbergasted. Void Stranger Gray. I should look more carefully. Are those bats? Do they look like the aliens we saw in outer space? What are the things I'm seeing fly in front of her photo here? I've never tried to analyze that. So I will have to do that. Basement 001, we have no power-ups. The mural's filled with inscriptions. Futile effort. We do keep all these things. Are there any new memories that have opened up by any chance while I'm here? 
Uh, no, we're still at kind of all our usual numbers, and I still, yeah, I'm still missing 13 shards somewhere in the game. So what type of rod do I obtain here? A normal void rod. This is not the upgraded void rod, so proving my metal... Didn't do that. Something is wrong. Yeah, I'd rather that something be different. Okay, so I think I'm reloading a save again. And having proven my metal, I'm going to try to go bong the head at the end of basement 255 six times and see what happens there. So yeah, it does seem to be 28 floors to get here. If I do this six times and wait six seconds, what happens here? Why didn't you heed my warning? What warning? Or maybe you couldn't hear me before. Yeah, I couldn't hear you before. Tell me something good. Okay, and this doesn't seem to be auto-advancing. It does seem that I need to press the button. Dots. Long I've watched over these halls. This looks like Dr. Lily too, doesn't it? Guiding, pondering, recalling. Your journey isn't over yet. Don't ask how I know. So... I think that does look like Dr. Lily, at least in terms of the hairstyle. Don't ask how I know implies that she is the clue giver of all of the singular rocks. I can talk again. My memory can send you back and take all of your burden. Only a simple memory remains. Is she the one who, uh, like, starts us off? Well, take all your burden. Hmm. Your choices. Away. Will you accept? This seems to be a full game reset, is the way that I am reading it. Take all your memory and stuff away. Why didn't you heed my warning? I'm going to say no. I'm afraid that will actually, yeah, begin anew. This will reset your progress. No, I do not wish to do that. Although the fact that the game gives you the option of doing that is, let us say, extremely worrisome as though there were some, why didn't you heed my warning, something we've done quote-unquote wrong that can no longer be undone that we would need to do again in a fresh save file and do it correctly. That's the implication that I'm hearing, but there are still loose ends I want to tug at while I have all of this progress. And there's just this video that I need to review, which is like mind blowing. So uh, we're gonna say no. And then what do you say? You say nothing. Okay, it's just every time I talk to you. Okay, you'll say this. All right. Um, so yeah, will you accept? And I also, I appreciate the way that these menus are structured, that there's no default choice. You have to press left or right before you're even highlighting a choice. So you can't accidentally do the wrong thing. Um, so good job, game developers. Um, and presumably nothing out of the ordinary will happen here. This will just, uh, that's usually how it disappears. So let me just start back up. I just want to make sure nothing else happens right here. Okay, yeah, I'm just back here. So I think it's time for me to review everything that happened this episode and go rack my brain. So I'm going to say I hope as always that you all are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Void Stranger.
where I am out of clever outros.